guys, I'm Molly Sanyer, it's Monday night, this is Third with Molly, and it's episode 54, I believe, and I have my good friend, Ayanna McMullen of Harmony Organizing, make sure you give her a follow, and I can't wait to chat with her about her whole entrepreneurship, we're good friends, welcome Ayanna McMullen! Yay! Yay. Cheers, let's cheers. Gave Ayanna a Frank mug. Yay! Guys, I'm so excited to have Ayanna, she's such good energy. I made her take off all of her arm candy members. You saw it in full action. And we're so excited today because Ayana's never thrown. Never. And are you excited to I'm, thrown? I'm very excited. I've been waiting for this all day. I'm very excited. Yes. I told her, just like last week when I was in LA, pottery and throwing is the new yoga. It and is. her whole entrepreneurship is harmony it's organizing. organizing. Alright, let's just jump into it. Okay, I'm so excited. I feel like I need to like chair yoga and center okay. myself. So guys, first things <laughs> first, Ayana, this is going to be your paddle. We're going to okay. put it here. Are you a righty or a lefty? I'm a righty. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, put your whole foot on that. Okay. Your toe is going to push down, and that's going to, yours is a little stiff. We're just practicing. Your okay. toe is fast, heel is slow. Feel it? All right, now okay. heel all the way down, because that stops. I'm going to turn it on. Okay. Now toe, and feel it. Let me turn mine on. Ooh. There we go. So you kind of get your bearings. Okay. And it's never thrown. Guys, we used to work at my old school, Glenley Elementary, Title yes, I yes, School yes. in Richmond, Virginia. And what did you teach? You were like a resource. I was an SOL, sunshine. remediation tutor, a teacher assistant, a board sub. Yeah. The kids loved I was, her. I was everywhere. She's so shiny. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I just love her. I was everything, except for a full-time teacher. That's right. Yeah. yeah. You should. They, they're, they're the long. principal was trying to get me to do that. I was like, no. Yes. Okay, now can you read? Do we need to bring this closer? I might bring this closer real quick. Okay. So fancy um, with the tablecloth. It's so we can read your comments. So it's like a black background. I'm playing with my wheel. I'm, I'm going to bring sorry. this closer. There we go. Okay, now we can probably read it. All right. So first things first, we're going to dive into a lesson with Ayana because okay. she's never thrown. And first, um, I'm going to give you this bat. Okay, so see these three dots? Okay. We're using these speedball bats, guys. They're just plastic, and they have these holes that fit right on the screws. Okay. So these, at the one dot, or a little further in, these fit on our bat. Okay. So I put my finger on one, and like get it on one screw, and then like swing okay. around and get on the other. And same thing here, they have like the holes, and I use the outside holes. I'm using the square, just because it's right here. I gave Ayana a round bat because it's a little easier to get your bearings and like press against it. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Monday night, we're back in Richmond. Third with Molly. Okay, I got it. No, I don't. She's never <laughs> thrown. She's never thrown. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm get so it. I'm so excited. I'm gonna come angle. Well, no, we'll leave there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over there. Y'all know I like to teach hand over hand. Okay. What are we even gonna no throw tonight? I, I'm going to do a base or a bowl. I'm help you. Yeah, please do. Sometimes this is what ends people in ceramics. They just can't get the bat on. Yay! Mr. Got it. Oh, that's Boom. Okay. Boom. Okay. There All we right. Go. Um, this is pretty satisfying. Take your sponge, dip it in your water, bring it all the way out. You have one right there. And bring it all the way out. Okay. And while it spins, touch the center and slowly come over to 3 o'clock. And just as you brace your elbow against your body, all of a sudden you're centered and you have like control. When you're when your elbow is out here with space, okay. it's like Woo! Okay. But as soon as you're right here, you're strong. So you might have to scoot up so you're anchored in your body and you can touch the wheel. Ultimately we're gonna put the clay and we'll make sure. water. Yep, and then drain it all the way out. Because if you have any moisture, the clay will fly right off. So am I going like this? Yeah, and basically you're just kinda clean like right there. We're just gonna hang and let that kind of clean. And then we'll get that spot, like touch right there, center, yep. Yeah. And then come over here to three. And that already satisfying, just it let is. it spin. Ooh. Can't okay. see your faces, let me angle it up. Are you sure you can't see it? Let me angle a little bit. All right, then Ayana, put okay. your sponge away, get your towel and spin it and just dry that surface. Get my towel. Let's angle this with your towel. We need a dry surface, no water, right there, yeah. All right, that's my dad. I see my dad tuning in. Frank, we are drinking out of your face. Cheers, Ayana. She's never thrown. Never. Is that better? Can y'all see us? Thanks for the live feedback. There you are, Frank. Cheers. 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 Thanks for coming. I'm so excited to see you. I'm so excited to see you. This is great. Okay, so dry. 
Mm -hmm. I'm gonna reach in my bag, you reach in yours, okay. and grab out a, bat, a ball of clay. And when, whenever you're learning how to throw, it's always nice to start with what fits in your hands. If it's too big, it's a challenge, and if it's too little, it's a challenge. Okay. Do you speak Spanish? Un poquito. Okay, help me. I'm... Is that Spanish? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Portuguese. Thank you for tuning in. I wish I could understand that. It might be Portuguese. I love seeing the different languages. <laughs> I love it. All right, we're going to, our the goal here is to get the clay, like, Right now, if I spin it, it's like boop, boop. You're, the goal is to get it right in the middle, like a bullseye. So without spinning, put it on there, and then with the hand at 3 o'clock and at 9 o'clock, you're going to use your palms to just push it and turn and push and turn, and you're trying to get it into, like, a cone. Okay. So I'm going to just turn and tap with dry hands. Dry hands. Always start dry to dry, or else it flies right around. Waves back at y'all. Guys, Ayana's in the house. Yeah. Follow her at Harmony Organizing. We we're talking yes. about the pre-show. You said the the best nugget. Tell the tell um the Ernest Molly people um balance. It's not yes. about equal parts. So balance, one definition is an equal parts, right? Sure. But another definition for balance is the appropriate proportions, which a lot of times we're not taught that to have the appropriate proportions. Appropriate also proportions to be in balance. Pakistan. <laughs> Guys, so much going on. I just got where's Pakistan? Are you good with geography? Oh, right there. Yep. Pakistan. There we haven't up. circled you yet. Yeah. Pakistan. <laughs> okay, so appropriate proportion. Appropriate proportion. And I had said, so if I ate a pizza and then a salad and then a pizza and a salad, I ate two pizzas and two salads, but it's not doing me balance. Appropriate yeah, proportion. There we go. Okay. I thought that was a nugget. Alright. <laughs> so we've never thrown, we've tapped it into a cone with dry hands. Now what we're going to do is add some water, and my favorite tool for that is a sponge because you can dip it in your bucket, and then as you need more, you can just squeeze it. So you kind of, you don't squeeze it all out at once, okay. just as you need it, because then when you touch it, it just slides. Guys, Ayanna's never thrown. Oh, hey, Norway. Oh, Italy. She's oh. never thrown, and all day she's known she was coming, so this is fun that she's I'm here. I'm so excited. All right, all right, so, we're and she's a right-hander. <laughs> so that's good for me and for her. So I'm going to show you and I'm going to help you. Okay. Okay. Um, as a right-hander, your left hand, you know how we talked about that elbow yes. in your hip? Yes. You always get that elbow in your hip and then scoot up so you can get that palm on the clay, not your fingertips really. And then your left, your right fingertips, you, I wish I could read. I, I know that says something with a sponge. You, all right. So my fingertips are gonna grab the clay and squeeze into my palm. But whenever possible, your hands are always connected. Because right now, this hand is anchored. It's in okay. your hip. Okay. But this one's like loosey. Okay. So as soon as I can, I can latch on. And these fingertips are gonna squeeze that clay into the palm and squeeze it up and up. And whenever you get to the top, you just kind of hold it and let it rotate, 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 and then you always slow release. I want to learn that thing, how to center the clay. Okay, so coning up, which is what this is called, you keep a cone, is a great way to figure out how to center. Right. So that's coning up, and I'm going to show you how to cone down, and I'm going to come do it with you. Okay. Coning down, maybe we'll just do that. We'll cone up, and I'll cone up with you. Okay. And then we'll, I'll cone down. We'll cone I kind of got to cone something. Yes, we'll do. <laughs> that's good. I okay. always, in teaching, I feel like the pressure really helps feeling the hand over hand. Yes. Okay, so plenty of water, okay. and then give me plenty of speed is also our friend. So you go a little quick, this elbow's anchored, mm -hmm. palm is on the clay. Got it. Perfect, and this thumb is gonna help you get that cone. So you're actually gonna keep it right there. Okay. Okay, plenty of water. These fingers are gonna start down at the bat. Perfect, you can add water up top. Now these fingertips, give me these fingertips. Okay. Thumbs over here diagonally. Oh. Yeah. Latch this thumb on here, behind here. Oh, yes. got it. And then these fingertips are going to push into the palm. And now you're up here, you kind of relax your pressure just okay. easy and hold it and let it rotate, rotate, and then slow release. Ah. Ooh, if you come off too fast, it gets off centered. Okay, so try wow. this as touching it because I'm going to show you cone okay. down. Okay. So that was cone up. You squeeze into a cone. Yeah. And this just prepared. This, somebody mentioned centering the clay. Mm -hmm. So when I, I was a ceramics major and I never knew about coning up and down, so this is very helpful. Okay. 
So to come down, same um, position, this elbow's there, mm -hmm. that palm is, is guiding the clay, mm -hmm. the right hand is loaded up with water, but it's not anchored, Okay. so it connects. Right. And I like to say the right hand is going to hug the left thumb, but also that right hand is kind of karate chopping, so the meat here is going to catch the center. Gotcha. They're all working together, the palm, anchored, squeeze that thumb, and then speeds my friend, and I'm just going to push down. But as we're coning, we want to cone. So right now that's not a cone, it's flat. Wow, okay. So as you reach the back, you want to drop. Can you and other things into clay? Can you add? Sure, like what? Of course, Argentina. <laughs> so you want to, as you cone down, drop this hand and create that pressure to get a cone again. Okay. So I'm gonna come help you. Yes. Okay, so coning down. So we're gonna squeeze that, get it loaded up with water. water. Yeah. Guys, Ayana's okay. never thrown. We're yeah. coning up and coning down. I'm oh, so excited. Okay, so we're gonna squeeze water on the top and get okay. it spinning. Okay. And she has a wheel, she's gotta get used to it. Yeah. Okay, so this hand's anchored. Palms at the top. At the top. This hand's gonna squeeze this thumb at top. Cause we're gonna karate chop with this. Like this. On the top, yep, hug this thumb. Got this thumb, uh -huh. squeeze it, good. This palm is right there, and then together, this hand on top, go a little faster with your wheel, perfect. So this hand's the boss, uh -huh. it's not allowed to wobble, it is firm, Ooh. and now this hand, relax this hand, Okay. this hand is gonna open up, because we're getting low, so now this hand's gonna drop the pressure, all the way down, back to that blue Oh my goodness. Back. hold it, wow. rotate, rotate, slow, release. Yes! <sighs> and then we'll add water again, and we'll cut it up and down one more time. Okay. Okay, so spin, spin, spin. Palm is here. Mm -hmm. Fingertips. Okay. This thumb latches on. This thumb's yep. helping that diagonal. Okay. Fingers are over here at like 3 o'clock. Perfect. Gotcha. gotcha. Palm, fingertips, thumbs helping, mm -hmm. and we're coming up with the clay. And as you come up, you kind of relax your pressure. Relax. You don't want to rip it off. because Right. You're and then feel it getting stick. Uh -huh. Sticky, you just add water. And then we hold, rotate, 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 slow, release. <sighs> and then we'll come down. So this is what coning down into center looks like. So am I supposed to have this much clay on me? Oh yeah, it's fine. Okay. We'll make a pile. And this looks clean, but just throw it right there. Okay. <laughs> we can recycle everything. That's the beauty. Like paint, you can't put it back yes, in the tube. Yes, yes. Clay, you can recycle it off. <laughs> um, so it's mostly technique. So yeah, this is a technique I do. So I'm gonna cone up, you're already coned up. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cone up, palm is anchored right here, no wobbles, thumb is at a diagonal, mm -hmm. hand, fingertips, connect it, mm -hmm. rotate, rotate, slow. If I come off fast, it gets like boop boom. Yeah. And if I spin, it's gonna get out of control. Gotcha. But if I get here and I just hold it, rotate, rotate, and then slow. Okay. Always take your hands off slow. Hmm. All right, so now we're going to push down to center. All right. And I'm going to see if Ayana can do it before I come oh and hand goodness. over hand help her. All right, I'm going to talk you through it. Okay. All right, clean and wring out your sponge. So we're, when we're squeezing our sponge for like the next round, it gets full of slip. You want to really clean out your sponge, like squeeze it, squeeze it, and then load it up with just water so that as you need it, you can squeeze as you need it. So mine's loaded up. All right, we're coned up. We're going to cone down to center. Okay. So let's show you. Let's do it together. So right hand holds that sponge. It's gonna hug the thumb. Perfect. Okay. Left hand is anchored in your hip. Put that elbow in your hip socket. Yes. Okay. Palm is gonna secure the very tip of the clay, and the meat of this hand that's hugging the thumb yeah. is gonna karate chop down. Okay. Okay. So we're there. Get a little spin. Left hand's not allowed to wobble, and the right yeah. hand's just pushing down. They're connected. The faster you spin, the faster you go. If you go slow, you go slow. If your wheel goes slow. Hey, Melbourne. We're in Richmond, Virginia. I don't think I did it. Look what happened to my Oh, that's okay. <laughs> so catch, hug this thumb. Okay. And then put the meat of this. Right there. Move this thumb. That's, hug this thumb. Let me show you. Like this. Yes. Okay. So let me do it with you. Okay, so we got to have this thumb. The meat is here. Go ahead, spin your wheel. And the palm's kind of holding the clay. It's not allowed to wobble. Are you anchored? Elbow in your... Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then what we're going to do is let this hand find the bat. I'm going to squeeze your sponge. So once this hand... There it is. See that blue circle? So oh, we're on the bat. Gotcha. Relax the pinky, just the palm. And then that hand on top is going to push 
Yes. Oh, I feel it. Palm. Sweet. On top, and now it's smooth. Yes. Rotate, rotate, slow, release. Keep it spinning. Oh. But the slower you take your hands off, the more center it stays. Okay. I was thinking Richmond, Australia. Are you awake in Australia, isn't it? <laughs> what time is it in Australia? Is that where you're from? You can just start putting on the map. <laughs> so I have a center. She's ever thrown, I need to get centered, so let me push mine. And so look at mine. If I cut with that pinky, you know how I said loosen the pinky? Yeah. The clay listens to your pressure, so I was like undercutting. Oh, I gotcha. So as soon as I relax that pinky, okay. just that palm, it listens. Okay. And now it's coming up. Right. So this hand on top keeps this nice shape. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm going to rotate. Mine's a little wobbly, so get smooth and then rotate, 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 slow, release. All right, cheers. We're centered. Oh. Ayana's never there. And how does the clay feel, Ayana? It feels great. This is so relaxing. Oh, my goodness. Yay. 9.15 a.m. in Australia. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What a nice way Good morning. to wake up. <laughs> We're cheersing you. We don't have coffee in our cups, but cheers with coffee. Not at all. All right, now Ayana's never thrown. Ayana, oh, I've lost my spoon. I messaged her with, "What would you like to make? Mm -hmm. You could make a bowl, a cup, or a plate, or an a vase." She goes. said, a, "I think you said a vase, okay. which comes from a cylinder, which would be like a cup." Good morning, back at you. So this is the time okay. when you go to open your clay. You want to have a plan. So what is our plan? Whatever you want to make, I'm gonna help you. Let's make do it. a vase. Okay, let's do a vase. Now, vases, I'm being ambitious. Yeah, vases, um, I don't cover with my beginning students. That's advanced, but we're, we're going to do, do it. A bowl. No, no, no. Okay. We're going to do a vase. Okay. But here's the question. Vases come in endless okay. styles. So you tell me, like, maybe with your hands, like, what kind of vase? Like, do you want one? Like, I started doing these vases with wide bottom. I'm trying to look if I have one. Like, a wide bottom, and then it kind of goes narrow, but then it, like, so it's, like, almost kind of like a... Like a time. I was thinking something very just like classic and similar. Round. But cylinder. Yeah. Okay. Cylinders thinking. are great for. Okay, let's yeah. go cylinder. Just. So we'll just try to open and get our, as much height as we can. Okay. How long would you say it takes to get proficient at pottery? It's all about practice. So some people, it's like um anything that takes practice. Yeah. Like how long did it take you to learn how to tie your shoe? Some people learn in a day. Some people it takes them a month. It's practice, practice, practice. All right, to make a cylinder vase, which is what we're going to do. This is Ayanna McMullen, my friend for years Hello. now, decades almost. <laughs> um, it's her first time on the wheel. So we just come up, we came down, and we centered, and now we're going to open and make a cylinder. Mm -hmm. So next step, this is always the first step. Okay. Next step, like basically a coffee mug is a cylinder form. Yes. So our next step is to create the inside, the opening. Right. And same with a bowl. You would next step opening. Okay. So... Plenty of water right on top. It spins. We drip. Look at her. She's like a pro now. She's a pro. All right. Boss hand. I call that the boss hand because anchor right. is not allowed to move around. Okay. It's same thing right there. On the bat. She's perfect. You see what color her bat is. Yep. Perfect. And if it gets sticky, water makes it slide. So keep that loaded up. All right. This right hand, even though it's doing the work, it's not the boss. Gotcha. This hand's the boss. It's not allowed to stop doing its job of holding tight. Okay. All right, this hand is loosey-goosey, so it connects. So connect gotcha. that thumb right there, so you connect it, perfect. While it's connected, I like to use my middle finger, a little water, and that middle finger, I'm just gonna touch the center, and once I feel centered, I'm gonna slowly and firmly Press push down. down. Firmly, but slowly. If you go fast, you'll put sil um, spirals, and it'll get off center. If you go patiently, and if you go too far, you'll put a hole, and you'll have a hole in the bottom, so just you always want to like think about how much you're leaving, and at first you're like, well, I don't know how much I'm leaving. So you just take a guess. So see, you're just getting a little boop, 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 boop. Left hand's not being a boss, so okay. I'm going to help you. you never thrown, guys, and I like to start with a, a hand over hand. So connect here again. Okay. Perfect. This hand reaches in. Yep. Yeah. And then feel this one's already pushing back. Feel this hand. Right. It's like, Urgh. Okay. So as this hand's drilling in, now we're going to make the bottom. So if, I, if we slowly take this out... Keep it spinning. We'll slowly. Perfect. So now your cylinder is going to be open about that low. Okay. Which is, feels great. But your cylinder is going to sit on like this wide. So our next step is to pull back ah. and make the bottom. Okay. So I'm going to reach in there with you. This hand's still the boss. Okay. This hand's going to connect. Perfect. And it's going to reach in. Okay. And then you're going to pull towards your belly button. 
And the further you pull, the wider that bottom. Oh, wow. I love it. Oh, and oh, wow, I love this it. This is awesome. And now, let's say that's like, we'll open a little wider. So this hand kind of opens too. Now slow the wheel a little bit. Perfect. Look at, perfect. Now we'll get here and we'll mm -hmm. rotate. We'll rotate. We'll rotate. Always like three times. And then slow. Mm -hmm. Keep it spinning. And then slow. Perfect. Wow. Oh, this is awesome. She did it, guys. She did it. <laughs> so first steps to a cylinder. I'm going to get there because she's ahead of me now. So I'm anchored here. Because after I help her, we have more balls of clay, and she's going to do this again. Ooh. So that we'll make as many as we can in the out. So plenty of water, palm, inside hand. I'm opened, but now I have to make that bottom. Okay. So I'm going to drag that finger towards me. Hands stay together. Rotate. I'm like so rotate, excited right now. <laughs> slow release. Woo! Woo! Okay. So okay. see my inside? I have like spirals and water. Mm -hmm. We don't know because there's water. So clean out your sponge. Wring it out. Okay. And then wring it all the way out. No water. All the way out. Mm -hmm. All right. This is kind of fun. You hold your wrung out sponge. No mm -hmm. water. And elbows against your body. You might do one hand or you might hold it with both. And you're going to try not to touch this. Okay. Because if I touch that, it's going to okay. open. Ah. And we, our goal to get height is to keep this in like a volcano. Like gotcha. we want it to go from wide to narrow okay. to get our height. Okay. As soon as it opens up, we'll have a beautiful bowl. <laughs> and once it's a bowl, it wants to be a bowl. It doesn't want to go tall again. So inside, okay. what we're going to do, without trying to knock that lip, that's what that's called, a lip. Mm -hmm. We're going to elbows against our body so we're not wobbly. Okay. And if you just touch the center, you're going to soak up some of that water, and you're going to kind of smooth out some of those lines. And then slowly, you're going to go from center over here to 3 o'clock. And as you do that, the wheel does the work. It spins, and you suck up that water, and you get out those lines. Boom. And now you clean out your sponge, wring it out, bring in all that water, and do it again. And then you get to kind of see what's happening down there. You make sure it's flat and smooth. So re reach to the center and like see this water right mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. If you get all the way to three, you'll soak okay. it right up. Guys, it's Monday night. I believe this is episode 54 with Ayanna McMullen of Harmony Organizing. We've been friends for years and she's an entrepreneur. First year in yes. her full time own hustling gig. That's right. So proud of her. And it's her first time ever on the wheel and she's crushing it. Thank you. Well, you're a good teacher. Oh, uh, you're a good student. <laughs> good student. See how that works? It just yes. spins and it does work. Okay, so we're going to try to get some height here. So one thing I'm going to have you do, I'm going to see if I just add water here. Yeah. It spins and coats the whole thing. Ooh. So watch this. If mine is open, mm -hmm. which is kind of open, okay. I'm going to add water too. And then, oops, I'm going to take both palms, put okay. both palms against my body. They're both going to go on that bat. And then I'm going to kind of like lean in. Okay. Your thumbs can kind of poke over, and all we're trying to do is get this diagonal back. So I'm just leaning. So you're at like three, and yes, and, and you're kind of like, not the bottom, okay. relax the bottom, just okay. the top. It's going to kind of like lean in, relax the thumbs, and just, you're going to go from here to here. Yes. And then just hold the clip right there. Perfect. Rotate, rotate, and then slow release. So look, now you have the volcano shape. So now it's ready. Guys, whenever your clay starts to get wide, if you're trying to go tall, before you make your pull, before you do anything, recontain it. And then you can always reach back in, get that water out, just try not to touch this and open okay. it. So you might even reach in with like two fingers, but just keep that elbow against your body and it keeps you anchored. Guys, thanks for tuning in tonight. You will do this one day. You put it to the universe and you will do it. Which after we finish Ayana's lesson, I can't wait to talk more about like entrepreneurship and the business side of things, creating your own dreams. Okay. Do I have enough? Perfect. Okay. All right, what I'm going to do is show you, and then I'm going to do it with you. Okay. Okay? Whenever I teach my beginners, I like to do hand over hand, so you feel yes. the pressure. That helps. And I think it does help, and then we just spend plenty of time, like, practice, practice, practice. So, again, while it spins, I'm going to add water just at 3 o'clock, and it okay. coats the whole thing. All right, now this is called a pull, and you're really not pulling it. You're squeezing the clay, and as you squeeze it, it comes taller. Okay. So, now the right hand's the boss. Gotcha. Right elbows in the hip. And you're so always, you're going to be at three o'clock because we're right handers. So we're at three o'clock. Everything here is reverse. Yes. Right. <laughs> so three o'clock. Right hand anchored. And you always want to start at the bat so you see what color it is. And I do put a sponge 
over base of its fingertip to fingertip, 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 connect it with the thumbs, and the fingertip squeeze, kind of like that. Okay. Fingertip to fingertip. But I like to put a sponge over it so I have that moisture. So I start at the bottom. This right hand's the boss. Gotcha. So I'm anchored. It's already squeezing. You okay. see the clay already moving? Yes. And that hand's the boss. This hand, what does it do? It connects. Whenever possible, they connect. Okay. And now it's going to kind of squeeze back, letting that outside hand squeeze back harder against it. And then as you get to the top, you rotate, rotate, rotate. You already know. And release. Slow. Slow, slow release. release. Yeah. <laughs> to the top, rotate, rotate, slow release. Okay. Okay? So I'll do it with you. Mine got a little really narrow, and some people are like, well, how am I going to get my hand in that? And you just, same thing. The next pull, you pull until the wall is as thin as you'd like it. Okay. Thin equals lighter. So I'm going to tuck all my digits. Like, okay. Get in there. And again, I'm trying to match up mm -hmm. 3 o'clock, all at the bottom. Squeezing that clay. And then I was like, and I'm going fast. If you go too fast, you'll put spirals. So you, you're like here, and the clay has to rotate. Mm -hmm. And then I can come here, and then the clay rotates. But because my wheel is going fast, it looks like I'm going fast. And then I get to the top, and rotate, 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 rotate slow, slow release. Because again, if I get to the top and I come off fast, right. it's like, do, 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 do. so when you <laughs> get there, you get there patiently, and you hold it, okay. and you rotate. Rotate, slow, release. All right, so let's do this together. Okay. Rotate, 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 slow, no, release. release. All right, so we're going to add a little water at 3 o'clock so it doesn't get sticky. Yep, perfect. Okay. All right, so this hand's the boss. Got it. This hand starts on the bat. Uh -huh. See this clay? Yeah. That's going to give you height. So some people okay. will start, like, up here. You want to start ah, all that. You want to get all that. All that. Ah, all that. Ah, okay. All right, so this hand's already pressing. Yes. That hand's going to reach in to meet it, and then these connect. At all times. Like this? Yes. Whatever okay. feels comfortable. Now slow your wheel. I didn't talk about speed. I kind of just did my speed. Relax this hand a little bit. I'll do all the pressure. Okay. You feel it. Go a little, like a medium. Okay. Relax this. Okay. Good. A little faster. Good. Relax the inside hand. Inside hand's just helping. Outside hand's the boss. Thumbs are connected. We're at the top. Now we relax. And we just hold it. And we rotate. 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 rotate slow. slow. Release. release. Boom. Wow. Guys, we're just trying to get a tall this cylinder. It's magical. It is magical. It is Cheers. very magical. <laughs> it's her first time on the wheel. <laughs> She's an entrepreneur here in Richmond, Virginia. Doing her own business. That's so it's fun right. to get on the wheel, right? Yes. It's like the yoga. After a stressful day, this is the best. Mm -hmm. Clay hands. <laughs> okay, so you can base the idea here is also, you, did you feel how like when we pull, give me your hand like a wall. Mm -hmm. We squeeze that clay. Right. When you squeeze the clay, it makes it thinner, and you're like squeezing the thickness. Right. So when it gets thin, as you squeeze, you kind of relax. Gotcha. But you don't take your hands off. You just relax, and you hold it. Okay. Until you rotate, rotate. Okay. So one thing they say with a cylinder is if you take your pot like into thirds, like that's the bottom mm -hmm. third, middle, mm -hmm. top third, mm -hmm. down here, I'm going to squeeze hard. Okay. I'm squeezing hard. But here, I automatically have to relax a little bit. And then up here, as I approach that top third, I really relax. Right, right. Okay. I'm not taking my hands off. I'm going to connect as soon as I can. And I'm just letting it rotate, rot but I'm not really squeezing because it's thin up there. Right. And that's when you rip it right off. You just keep squeezing really hard. What's the hardest thing to make? A teapot. Is it? A teapot because it involves every technique of clay. A body, oh, wow. a lid, a handle, combining pieces with the stop. So if you want to practice technique, teapots. Teapot. And then make them and pour them and see how they do. <laughs> and then, while it's spinning, I can reach in, lift my arm up so I don't knock that lip, mm -hmm. and get the water up. Okay. Alright, so we'll do a pull together. Okay. So right hand's the boss, we'll get it spinning, and we'll drip some water at 3 o'clock. It's so just right here, and it coats mm -hmm. the whole thing, so it slides. Okay. Right, this hand's the boss, it's going to start down here. Mm -hmm. That hand reaches in, mm -hmm. thumbs connect. Okay, and I'll do the pressure, you just feel it. Okay. So this hand's the boss, mm -hmm. inside hand's going to squeeze back because we're at the bottom. But as we come up, like right here, we kind of relax. And then now we really relax. So inside hand's not squeezing at all. Okay. It's just kind of following. Thumbs are connected. Perfect. And inside hand really relaxes. Relax. Okay. Like we can almost take it off, but we just hold it gently. And then we get we got to the top. What do we do, guys? Rotate. 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 rotate slow. Boom. Wow. Boom. Boom. 
So we're getting that taller height. Yeah. Now, if you want to get a cylinder this tall, you have to just use more clay. Right. right. Maybe not open as wide, but she's never thrown, so we're just getting some height. Yeah. So why don't you try one more pull? Okay. See how that's like flaring? Yes. I already know okay. that if you start there, you're going to make it taller. Okay. And look, me too. I got this. Okay. So I already know too. I can kind of give it one more squeeze. So, so this one. hand's the boss. Oh wait, I didn't put my water at 3 o'clock. That's it. I think because your sponge okay. is a little wet, it's okay. fine. This hand's going to reach down. This hand's are Connect your thumbs if you can. Perfect. All right, so we're squeezing. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to come up. Inside hand's relax because it's not the boss. Inside hand's not the boss. Outside hand's the boss. And we're just patient. It rotates. Inside hand really relaxes. Connect your thumbs though. And you're just like gentle on the inside. You're like barely touching it. Like barely. Okay. We're at the top. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Slow release. Boom. So I'm gonna do that to mine. Why don't you clean your sponge, wring it all the way out, and then try not to knock the lip and just get the inside cleaned okay. out. Guys, yes, this is awesome. Are you enjoying yourself? I'm enjoying it so much. Everyone should play with clay. I mean, seriously. I know. It's like. The clay is always the star, really. You can make things People are really here for just house. for the clay. Right. I know. You can make things for your home. It's all natural. Yes. No plastic. No plastic. No Reusable. Toxic handmade. So oh you're feeling goodness. the love. I love it. And like, I just put some inconsistencies in mine. So guess what the trick is to fix that? Rotate, rotate, rotate. <laughs> so like, see how it's like wonky right there? Yeah. So the pressure I'm going to give on my wall is just this. Wow. I'm not going to squeeze it. I'm just going to be here, and my elbows are going to be here, and I'm just easy. It's just, and it's going to listen to me because yeah. I'm harmony. <laughs> You're in balance. balance. Your hands are And I'm balance. just letting it rotate right here. Look, I'm not even coming up. It's just rotating and rotating, and now I can come up a little bit oh, and let it yeah. rotate, rotate, rotate. Okay. And then come up, come up, and slowly, slowly. You make your way up, and now it's not wonking around so much because I just hit that one spot. I'm gonna reach and get my water out. Guys, thanks for tuning in. It's always so fun to have different guests, and tonight it's my friend, Ayana, who's never thrown before. Never. Um, members of the after show, I'm gonna let Ian. <laughs> I, I was watching Ian fix my Yama. life. <laughs> and I was kind of thinking about you too, because you're coming on tonight. Ayana is gonna tune in to my space. She's an organizational. I'm a organizing consultant. It's like her job. That's my job. So members on the after show, she's going to kind of critique my space and give some pointers of how you can maybe better organize your office, your studio. So if you're not a member, make sure you're signed up to be a Throne of Molly member. Um, we'll talk more about that too because it's another way as you're offering, like if Ayana wanted to share some organizational tips, you can maybe have a membership too where those members get even more access. Yes. That's what my members get. Sure. So tune in for that. Okay, so... Let me feel your wall, spin it. Okay. You always want to touch your clay when it's spinning. Wow, wow, okay. I think, let's just try, see that flaring right there? Let's do it one more time. One okay. more time. All right. Okay, so, oh, perfect, shining in. I'm learning. Put a little water at three o'clock. Okay. This hand's the boss. Inside hand's not the boss. Connect your thumbs if you can. And start down here and squeeze that clay at the bottom. And perfect, so at that bottom third. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna come up with that clay. And then that inside hand is perfect, it's relaxed, and now your pressure kind of relaxes. And now, as it's coming up, it really kind of thins out. This outside hand kind of eases up. And then we get to the top. You already know, I'm gonna take my hands off. I'm gonna take mine off, you stay steady. Rotate, rotate, rotate. 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 Slow oh, release. Proud mama, proud <laughs> mama. There you go. Yay. All right, so that's the first step in like a base. You yeah. pull the walls and get the height. Once you have the height, you have some options of like shaping and okay. necking in. Okay. Which I don't know about you, but my mom is my biggest critic, and she has flowers, and she would tell me that like the opening for a base, like here, the flowers would boop. So yes. you try to like give it a it little is. cinch. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so for that, I'm gonna add a little water. But here's okay. the thing: when you add water to clay. It turns to like mush. Right, right. So if I add water and if I close it and I leave water in there, it's going to be too wet. It's going to mush to nothing. Gotcha. So 
even though I just added water, I'm going to get the water out now. So there's a little water on the outside, but I'm going to reach in and make sure there's no water. Because what I'm going to do is just cinch this top in just a little bit. So make sure you don't have any water in the bottom. I'm just going to bring that sponge up. And like here, watch this. I'm just going to touch. It feels like this. Give me your hand. I'm just like cleaning. I'm just cleaning up. Okay. I'm like, you like know, I'm not. Dab, like yeah, I'm just dab. sucking up that okay. water as it spins. So let me get out the inside. Yeah, get the bottom. Let it spin. Elbows are against your body. So you're the boss. Oh. I love this. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And guys, next week we have, I hope I say this correctly, because although we've been chatting on the Instagram, and thank God for Instagram to connect us all from all over the world. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Next week, the potter who will be sitting here is from Cape Town, South Africa. Argile by Leon. I'm sure a lot of you follow him. He's coming to the States to do workshops on throwing big. So I'm really excited to have him. It's going to be a lot of fun. And hopefully he'll share with us some of his tips for throwing big. And check out his page because he's a lot of fun. So next week, I'm excited. He's from Cape Town, South Africa. Right now we have Ayana from Richmond, Virginia. Okay, perfect. So spin, spin, spin. See that shine? I'm just going to like touch okay. and spin it because you don't want it to spin. I'm just going to suck that up. See how like now mm -hmm. that shine is kind of gone? Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So we have a little moisture on the outside. Mm -hmm. Now what we're going to do is take our hands. We already know that when our hands are wet, everything slides through them, right? Right. Remember when your clay was out wide and mm -hmm. we took your hands and we did? Right. And how the clay listened. Yes. So we're going to kind of do the same thing. We don't want to drip water on the inside, so make okay. sure your thumbs. But if I just take my hands, and almost like you're wringing out a neck, mm -hmm. I can come under this opening, like maybe just a little bit, and just okay. bring my hands like literally closer, patiently, let it rotate and then move them. Let it okay. rotate and then move them. And I'm looking at that opening, and then boom, slow release. It closed up a little bit. This is just one way to make a little vase. Perfect. Yes. Yes, and then slow release. Hold it. Okay. Rotate. Rotate. Slowly. You see that little ba bump? Yep. That's just a slow, like I got there, I'm holding it. It's getting there, it's getting there. It's there. And then slow release. Nice. And then we can just take a sponge and like it'll soften that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's looking good. I think now we do it one, one more, more time. time. Okay. So get your hands wet. Don't get any water on the inside. And maybe start just below that. Start like mm -hmm. right here. And just as you bring your hands, not up, but as you bring your hands to touch Don't this bring way, up. instead of up, okay. the, it'll, it'll make it tighter. Okay. Yes, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna add some, I'm gonna be her water girl. You follow him, yeah, he's coming on Thursday Molly, so I'm gonna add a little water. Perfect, they're slowly getting next Do to I each go other. up? And then, you can s slowly go up if you want the, it's all, do you see how your pressure translates to the clay? Right. That's why there's endless, there's not one way to do it. So it's kind of like, what shape do you want? Perfect. And then just get, when you're at the top, hold it and just let it rotate, rotate. Always at the top. No matter what you're doing, pulling, shaping, hold it, rotate, 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 slowly. Boom. So look, your flowers would say pricked right up and right. right. Then we do have a tool if you want. See these straight edges on these? Okay. These are for shaping sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like that one's a little more flimsy. Okay. And you can bend it and you can like push and get a curve. Oh. Or you can take the straight edge and like straighten it okay. and feel how they're different. Okay. Like the green one's a little harder. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So people like different colors to do different, do different things. It's all whatever. This is another rib. But these are for shaping. So like if, oh, see like right that here? Your mouth. That's right. Oop, just touch it up there. Um, see how like right there it like bubbles. Now if I open, if I put my hand, I'm gonna open this back right. up. So you don't really want to do that. But I could just put this maybe here and hold on, and just as it rotates, oh, okay, it's gonna shape and it's taking off that slip. Okay. Which boom can be recycled. So a rib can just help with the shaping and the finishing. But you don't want to overload with clay. Like right. that's already actually a beautiful vase. Okay. As long as there's not water on the inside, I don't see any. I don't see any. But if you want to experiment with the shaping, you can do it too. Okay. You can use this one too. So let me see. So I'm going to use it. Do I put it right on the... Yeah. Thing? And ideally, you know how we did like fingertip to fingertip? Mm -hmm. Ideally with the rib, you do rib to fingertip. So like you're kind of gently shaping with the rib okay. from the inside, just gently. You mean but, you put my, my finger in Right. There. If okay. you can. Like, yeah, you can kind of get that there and, like, depending on what shape you want. And then that thumb, if it can connect, 
it'll give you stability, like right know, on I'm, top, right okay. there. And then, like, I don't know what shape is in your head. So like, I, don't I don't have know. one. <laughs> so we'll just kind of come up together. Keep that thumb on there. And then we'll get here, and we'll let just rotate, 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 and we'll slow release. Inside hand comes off. This one, yeah. Boom. Now, if you, if you want it to like, get necked in a little more, mm -hmm. take your little fingertips, get them wet, and then just right underneath, like not up here, mm -hmm. but like right here. Mm -hmm. Get those wet fingers, and just slowly they reach each other to touch. So patiently. Yes. And they're gonna just keep getting closer, and then it necks it in. And when you get to how skinny you want it, now don't come up. You're just, yes, exactly. Okay. And then, and you can even like add a little pressure here, and it opens it a little. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like that. Ooh. And then always slow release. Okay. <laughs> I think that's beautiful. So, what we're going to do now, I took your sponge. Okay. Um, I'm going to wring these out. And then just any shine you see, I'm just going to spin and just gently touch it to take off that shine. Anywhere you see shine, I'm like just, mm -hmm. just at 3 o'clock, I'll just take that shine off. And then we're going to do another one. So now that Ayana has had the full lesson, we're going to give her a fresh ball of clay and let yeah. her just go to town. Let's see what see. she does. Yeah. <laughs> We'll do it together. And I don't think you really need the wooden knife. I'm going to hold it like a pencil in the okay. middle, both hands, elbows against my body. See how mine still has that flared out? Yeah, yeah. Yours kind of looks like it's part of the, the form, right. the design. I'm just going to touch where that transition is I don't like. And then patiently, just like rotate, rotate, I'm going to patiently cut through until I reach ah. that. If you go too fast, it gets spirally and off-centered. So boom, we're there. Needle tool cuts through that and then underneath of that. Ooh. And then boom. It kind of like pre shapes it. But yeah. I like how yours yeah. is it's like, that. Out like that. So we'll just Spring hold it. this right here, get that shine off with the sponge. And then we're going to do a new bat, a new ball of clay with Ayana McMullen. Harmony organizing. Harmony organizing. First time ever throwing tonight, guys. Base. Yes. Boom. Look what Check. I've done. <sighs> Boom! Good stuff. Yes, Good you stuff. earned it. <laughs> so now we'll just make sure your heels on slow. Okay. And the beauty of the bat is you don't touch the clay and mess it up. We just take this off and we put it aside and it will dry. Oh. Now use your towel, get your hands dry because whenever we start, we need dry hands. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put this right over here for right now, and then put that there. Okay. I'm gonna dry my hands. Hi, oh, this has been so fun and yes, lots of people have been tuning it. in. I know. Where are y'all tuning in from now? Because we have clean hands, we have a marker, we should <laughs> cheers, we should get ourselves regrouped. This is so fun. <laughs> We're back in Richmond, guys. Yay! Cheers. cheers. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Here's this a fun great. fact. I used to teach her nieces art. Can you believe that? And now they're 21. That's kind of so fun as a teacher it to like is. see. I taught elementary school. Her nieces were like, they were eight. Third, yeah. <laughs> now they're twenty one. Ah. Another funny thing. Ah. I just reconnected with my fifth grade teacher. Can you believe that? How? On Facebook. Were you a Richmond student? Was it a Richmond school? Yes. Which school? It was in Rico. It was in Rico. Oh. Yeah. It was a uh, Laburnum Elementary. Oh. Yes. Stop it. Yes. Those three holes are the holes we want on the top of there. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that you were a Laburnum. I think I did know you were a Laburnum. Laburnum girl. Because you were like right there. Okay. Okay. So, and again, this is when I lose some of my students. Just putting the bat on. I got it this time. She's got it. Let's see what else she has, guys. We just finished our lesson. Okay, dry <laughs> hands. Always at the beginning of a new pot. Dry hands. Dry that. Sometimes it will, see that? See how mm -hmm. that flakes off? Mm -hmm. So sometimes if you put clay on that, it will cause a problem. So I gotcha. do like to take a, just like, you know, wring out that water. Right. We don't want it wet. But I just kind of get that wet. And then actually we didn't do this before, but look, watch this flat edge. Three o'clock. Boom. Oh. Oh. Hold on tight. Elbow against your body. Three o'clock oh. to center. And then boom. It's clean. No more dry stuff. There we go. All right. Now dry hands. So I got to dry my hands again. Dry hands, a towel is a great tool, guys. All right, dry hands. Reach mm -hmm. in your bag, drag all the clay. 
Now, when I'm teaching, I always recommend, like, you have an idea. I don't want to make bases. Repeat, because it's muscle memory. Somebody said, how long does it take? If I am now try to do a plate, it's a whole I'll new skill. Right. And she already has the idea for how to do a vase. So we stick with a vase, we practice, we practice, and then all of a sudden, she's the vase maker. Mm -hmm. So in a ball, dry right in the center. Perfect. And then the palms, not fingertips, palms at 3 and 9 o'clock are going to tap that into a cone. So you kind of tap and turn. I'm from Norway, late at night, love your show. Thank you, Matilda, and you're a member. Let me circle you. <laughs> Norway, we had Norway, because y'all must tune in, love Norway. We had, a, I just went back to school. Ayana and I taught together, and I just went back to school. I'm at a different school now. And three of our teachers were in Norway this summer. Wow, so what are the chances? Small world. I know, very small, small world. world. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I love it. All right, so okay. I think we have. Gosh, time flies. It does. It really Because I really, I mean, Ayanna's an entrepreneur. We were just talking on the pre show how she's making a living just off of her own business, Harmony Organizing, and that's like a big deal. So, uh, time. All right, now right. Okay. that it's stuck on there, we add water's our friend, and it, we need that moisture. Now, we're going to cone up and cone down. All right, here we go. So left hand's the boss. Woo -hoo. Elbows in your okay. hip. Boom. Not a lot of wobble. Okay. Firm, palm, not fingertips. And keep that wet sponge, you can add more water. Because when it gets dry, it gets frictiony, and you need it sliding with plenty of water. Okay, the fingertips of the right hand are going to squeeze against the palm, but this okay. thumb connects them. Okay. So this thumb's, yes, yes. Can I do this like this? And you can even, like, get rid of the sponge if it's, like, not... Comfortable at first, get to the top, mm -hmm. rotate, 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 hold it, slow release. Back babies, I don't know what that means, back babies. All right, I'm gonna do mine, <laughs> we'll, we'll both again start at the bottom. Okay. So look, see how like it's getting a little narrow yep. right there? Mm -hmm. That's because you squeeze really hard. Okay. What you wanna do is squeeze hard, but then bring that pressure gradually. And make sure this thumb stays at that diagonal, get to the top. Rotate, 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 hold it, slow release. Perfect, yes, Okay. perfect. Now we'll cone down, so fill that sponge up with water. I want a Play bigger down. cone. All right, let's cone up again. Yeah. Start at the bottom, add a little water on the top. So left palm, these fingertips, this thumb is gonna connect here, yes. And it's these fingertips and that palm, and then you're here and you squeeze, and then you're here and you squeeze. And then as you got taller, you're still squeezing, and then you get to the top and you kind of hold. Mm -hmm. And you rotate, rotate, rotate. Slow, release. Okay, that's boom. better. That's better. And look, see how I have like this like boom and yeah. boom? Yeah. And you do too. That's because we cut up and down one time. Gotcha. If you cut up and down, it will get smooth, and that's when you push the center. But because it's our first time, and we only have a couple more minutes, let's push down to okay. center. Um, this is just a white 181 white stoneware. It's just a, a smooth, not, not much grog white stoneware. Okay, so plenty of water. Somebody asked what clay we're using. Um, palm, boss, elbow. You're at the top, supporting mm -hmm. that tip. Yes. Okay. This thumb is going to be hugged by the right hand. Elbows are against your body. And the meat under here is mm -hmm. going to like karate chop the tip of that. Got it. But this palm is on it. They're working together. You're squeezing yes. the water and speed is your friend. And I'm going to reach the bat. This hand's making the blue circle. Oh. And then the right hand on top is just going to get a nice form. I'm going to hold it and rotate, rotate, rotate. While wow, your students get centering so fast. I know she's never thrown before. <laughs> we need one lesson. I this is her first class. I know. I gotta do it again. So perfect. You have your water. You're hugging your left thumb. Left thumb is the boss. This hand is on that tip. Okay. And they're working together. Just this palm, not the fingertips. Palm, palm. And maybe relax this hand. Okay. Because it's not the boss. You know, it's doing a lot of work. Gotcha. Now, perfect. So that blue circle. Yeah. This palm's gonna stay right there. Okay. And you're just kind of trying to hold. That position. I'm gonna take my hands off because, like, right now you've got this undercut like that, uh -huh. and that just gets fixed by leaning this palm. But as you lean that palm, no thing. Yes, yes. Got it. And then the hand on top is holding it. Janiana, I haven't seen you in forever. Hey, girl. Hey. And then both hands hold that clay. 
Once you feel like there's no wobbles, both hands, this hand's the boss. Okay. It's anchored. This hand's on top, connected. Okay. Perfect. And you're already more centered than I am. So see, mine's like boom, 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 boom. Uh -huh. Boom, boom. I'm on top. I'm going to lean in and let it rotate, 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 and then slow. Oh, I didn't do slow release. release. Slow release makes a difference if you're here and boom slow versus release. like here. Let it rotate, rotate, rotate until you feel it smooth and then slow, slow. <laughs> boom. And then you always want that like clean right next to the back because that's where we're going to work. Guys, Ayana, first time ever. First time. Friends for Jack, I want to say decades. I haven't really Probably. done the math. We've been talking. Yeah, but it's got to be. Gotta be. We used to teach together at the same Title I school. Shout yes. out to all you Title I teachers. And Molly has always been awesome. So is Ayana. That's why, I, that's why she's here tonight. I, she said, you know, what qualifies you to come on? I'm like, it's a fun show. I want to have fun. I like to have fun. And she, I've always loved Ayana. And she gave me an idea time. for another person. I'm not going to say the name. Ah, but I have very it in fun. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. We're making vases. Thanks for asking. So Ayana's never thrown. I just gave her a lesson to make a vase. Now she's gonna make her own. Okay, so we have it centered, which means it's not wobbling. Like, boom, that's ba bump ba bump. So I lean gotcha. in, hand on top, okay. I hold, I hold, I rotate, I rotate, and then I slow. Do I need to get this stuff off the top? You're pretty good. I mean, if okay. you want it, you could, but you don't have to. All right, load up that sponge. Go. Plenty of water. Bring it out. Water. Slip is different than water. Her name is Ayana too. Janae Ayana has been a loyal follower Hello. for years. Hello, and you spell it just like mine. I know. See. There's usually like just one in. You have two ends. That's good. I feel that way with Molly. Like yeah. You're an IE. <laughs> Sorry, I'm judging you. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so plenty of water on top. Okay. But I still have more water to squeeze later if I need it. Okay. Boss hand. Palm, not fingertips. Okay. This hand's not allowed to wobble. Okay. This hand connects. Yep. And then that middle finger is going to make the inside. Okay. I'm going to squeeze a little. Speed is my friend. But as this hand pushes in, without this hand, it gets off center. Gotcha. So this hand's leaning in. They're connected. And when you think your finger's just low enough, you want like this much in the bottom. Okay. And I'm going to be your friend in a little water. Water always helps. Then you're, we're going to pull back. Oh, and Ayana's her best friend, too. We got a lot. Wow. It's meant to be tonight, guys. I didn't know so many Ayanas. I didn't this know Ayana's Ayana. drilling in an opening. Okay. And then, let's see. I think we go a little lower. Maybe like there. Okay. Okay. Now that fingertip is going to pull towards your belly button. But this hand's not allowed to sway. It's like firm. Okay. And this, just the fingertip is going to pull back, back. And now we're like creating the bottom of your base. All right. And then get there and just hold that. Keep your hands connected. See how it's like ba bum ba bum. Uh -huh. So just let it rotate, rotate. Your hands are connected. And when you feel that wobbles out, I'm going to just push against that. Relax that inside hand. Yeah. Perfect. And I'm just going to hold this too, help you get that back on. And it's all about rotate, rotate, slow and release. So Ayana's got her opening. I'm going to open mine. Ooh. And we don't have much time, but I was telling the member, look at that's you. Better the than the, that's better than my first one. That's Say that good. again. I mean, that's, that's the better practice. than my first yes. one. Yeah. So again, if your lip starts to get wide, take those palms and create that kind of volcano again. But yours is pretty good. But guys, I'm hoping with my membership on at Thrown with Molly, we're going to take Ayana, who owns and runs her own organizational company, Harmony Organizing. Harmony Organizing. Follow her. I've been tagging her. Um, she's going to give me a rundown on my studio and the office, and we'll give some tips to the members. So make sure you tune in, members. And if you're not a member, click the link in my bio and sign up, and I'd love to have you with members. <laughs> All right, so we have our opening. We have our bottom. Now we're going to... Okay. So now the right hand's the boss. Elbow in your hip. Do I need water in here? You need, I always okay. love water. I okay. always love water. All right. A little water at three o'clock. Boom. Elbows against your body. Right hand's the boss. It starts, you want to see what color your bat is. Start at the bottom. It itch, remember that third's like here and here? Yes. I'm squeezing the hardest here, but this inside okay. hand touches the outside hand. Lock this thumb on here. Perfect. Now you're stable. Okay. But those fingertips are squeezing. And then as you come up patiently, you're slowing your wheel speed, and you're relaxing your pressure, and you're always letting the little rotate, 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 before moving, before taking your hands off, rotate, like, rotate. Why is that coming up like I want to? 
Oh, what? It's your first time ever throwing a pot by yourself. I'm going to add water. I'm going to connect your thumbs oh. for you. And then we're here at 3 o'clock and relax this inside hand. Okay. And outside hand is going to just scoop that clay against the inside hand. Inside hand relaxes all the way to the top. And now we're at the top, so we're going to... Rotate, 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 rotate. Look at Janae, Ariana. She already <laughs> Slow <laughs> release. Ah, Boom. So you yeah. try to actually keep that shape because then at the end, if you want to straighten it up, okay. like you could hold okay. this vertical and like push this and open it. Oh, yeah. But in, again, you want to rotate, rotate, right. rotate, hold it on and slow release. But if you're trying to get some height, you're trying to keep that here yeah. until you're ready. That's what I want some height. So let's squeeze a little water at 3 o'clock and do another pull. I like your way that you're teaching. Wheel, it's lovely love. I love that you're following because that's what this is about. Education oh my God. and fun. <sighs> Look at your glasses. I know, my glasses keep Guys, slipping Guys, if you didn't out. know, you're not a member, then you missed all of Ayana's glory with all of her bracelets. Like, that's one reason I love this girl right here. Her <laughs> arm, both of them are like bracelet, bracelet, bracelet. And like, I, I used to wear bracelets. Yeah. Because when we were together, I wasn't a ceramics teacher. I was mm -hmm. just in elementary. We did like crayons right. and painting. So now no more arm candy. Okay, water at 3 o'clock. Right hand's the boss. Right hand gets this clay down here. If this hand can connect, they always connect when possible. Okay. And at the bottom, squeeze. Outside, yes. And now they kind of come up as you're squeezing. The inside hand's going to relax. Inside hand relaxes because this hand's the boss. This hand's not the gotcha, boss. Gotcha. I love the connection. That helps keep you centered. And this hand's just really relaxing. And we're here and we're rotate. Really relax. Relax. And now we're just going to hold it. And rotate. Okay, let's slowly pop to see that. Yeah. We can just put a rib against it. Okay. So instead of fingertip to fingertip, we'll put a rib. And we'll just patiently, what's the key? Rotate. 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 And then we'll slowly so come up nice. to here. And we'll rotate, rotate, rotate. When in doubt, rotate, rotate, rotate. It's like the key to life. And sometimes it's easier. <laughs> it is the key to life. Patience, you know, rotate. Let it do its thing. That's Be great. patient. I like that. All right. Well, let's feel these. The walls actually feel good. So get your water on the bottom, and then we can shape that. Okay. I think we're gonna getting close to the end here. I'm gonna have to like say my thank yous and appreciation soon. And time flies when you're having fun. It does. I will learn from Ayana in future. Oh, and Ayana's studio one day. Yeah, one day she'll have a studio. Ayana, yes. Ayana. Ayana's are always the boss. Yes, we are. <laughs> I knew I liked Ayana's. I love a boss. Uh, yes, we the are. Three minutes. Thank you, Janae Ayana. So Janae Ayana has been following forever. You know my sister Blair. I met her. Yeah. I met her. Yeah. So Blair used to be on here, and Janae Ayana would always, I feel like it's always Blair and Janae Ayana like knew the same nice. pop culture references, and I'm just like, what? What? <laughs> so it's always so fun to have Janae Ayana, because she tunes in. Hello, and Janae Ayana. So fun. All right, so you have your height and thickness that you want. I don't. I'm going to finish this. And then you can, like, shape it. So, two minutes. Oh. But at this time, once you have your height okay. and you get your water out, okay. you can also do what's called bellying out. So we just necked in. Gotcha. You can also belly out. Okay. So I'll show you. Rib. And instead of fingertip to fingertip, like, give me your hand like you're the clay wall. Okay. Instead of, like, here with fingertips, I'm here. I'm going to make a curve. And I'm going to, like... Push this into the curve. Hmm. And then I'm going to like ease up. Okay. So it looks like that. I'm going to belly up. I'm going to push into this. And then I rotate, rotate, rotate just down there because I don't want this fat. Slow release. And then I can take these hands and neck in and bring them closer and slow release. And in excess, guys, cheers. cheers. I'm going to last. I just want to thank Ayana for coming. Thank you for having me. This has been great. This has been a blast. I've enjoyed every minute. Harmony Organizing, guys. Yes. Follow her. She's going to help me get my life right. We're going to give tips to the members at their in Bali. Yes. What's your reflection on the process? She had never thrown. She had a busy, hectic work day. How do you feel? I feel much more relaxed. I really do. And this is therapeutic because you're getting your hands in something that feels good and it slides and it glides. And you're creating, which we don't do a lot in 
I for think our mental in the health in the business world. We all have to protect our mental health yes. and creativity yes. is a way. Just like go for a walk, yes, talk to your friends. Create. It is part of and self care. It's a part of self care. Self care. It's the new yoga, yes, guys. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Molly. Now we'll have to like get you back, and you won't be a novice I would love again. To come back. She'll be like a. You'll, we'll see if the muscle memory is there. Hopefully, I'm going to be looking. Form. I'm going to be like practicing Watch this, practice. like in my in head. your head. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, cheers. Oh, and guys, cheers. next week we have our Gilet de Leon from South Africa coming as a guest. Throwing big, so tune in.